guys, it's Kayleigh from K-Books and this is my book haul for the month of June. I cannot believe it is July already. I've got quite a few books um, to show you. Um, a couple of review books. Um, I got one gifted from a friend and the rest were bought. I bought quite a few books this month because um, in July, so where we are now, in two weeks I'm going to London to the London Film and Comic Con convention and in that there is YALC, the Young Adult Literature Convention. So I'm really excited so I bought a few books um, to take with me to London so I can get them signed by the authors. So first of all I'm going to show you um, the books that I got for review. I got three books for review. First was Lorelei by Laura Dockerill. This is a young adult um, fantasy? It's not epic fantasy, but it is about a mermaid. I haven't really read a whole lot of books about mermaids, but this sounds really good. And Hotkey Publishing sent me the ARC, and it is signed, which is awesome. Um, Laura is actually going to be at Yelk, um, so I'm thinking of actually buying one with a proper cover um, to get signed for me, and then I'll possibly do a giveaway with this signed ARC. So I got that one. I also got Paperweight by Meg Haston. This is a young adult and it is a contemporary. It sounds really, really good. Um, it sounds like a very emotional book and I'm really looking forward to reading that though. It is the type of book where I do have to sort of be in the right mood for it. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. The last book I got for review is Hacked by Tracy Alexander. Um, they were actually giving away arcs of the second book, but I hadn't read the first one, so Hotkey Publishing offered to send me the first one um, to read, and I'm really looking forward to it. It is a young adult book, um, and it sounds pretty awesome. I got gifted one book, and this was gifted to me by Donna from Book Passion for Life. She got this as an arc, and it's a book that I just couldn't wait for, so after she'd finished with her arc, she sent me it. And it is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Taher. This is the um, UK arc copy. I haven't read it yet, but I am really, really looking forward to it. It's absolutely stunning, and if I like this, I will definitely go out and buy the proper... Um, the finished copy because the UK cover is just stunning. So a big thank you to Donna for sending me that. Um, the rest of the books were ones I bought. Most were for Yelk, but there is a couple in there that um, were just because I wanted them. The first one is Crow Moon by Anna McCaro. This is a young adult and it is a paranormal. Um, it is about witches. I don't usually enjoy books about witches very much, but this one just sounds really, really good. And I'm hoping this is going to be the one that I read that I go, I love witch books because I really need that. And I'm hoping this is going to be that one for me. The next one I got is The Year of the Rat by Claire Furness. It's a young adult and it is a contemporary. Again, this is one that I'm... Um, I've been told it's going to make me cry. It's a very emotional book, but I'm really looking forward to reading that. The next one is not for Yelk, but um, I've just been really looking forward to reading this book for ages, and it is My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Wager. Uh, I've heard it's very emotional, but I've heard such great things about this book. I'm really looking forward to reading it. It just sounds amazing. The next book is Only Ever Yours by Louise O'Neill. This is a young adult um, dystopia. I've already read this one, um, so tune into my video that should be going up um, today or tomorrow, um, which is my wrap up post to see how I felt about that one. The next one I got is Remix by Non Pratt. Non Pratt is fast becoming one of my favourite authors. I There are no words to explain how much I adored Trouble. It was just absolutely stunning and amazing. Um, so yeah, Remix. I've already read it. I loved it. It's fab. The next one I got is 
City of Halves by Lucy Inglis. This is a young adult and it's a paranormal urban fantasy type of book. I'm really looking forward to this, especially since it says a must for fans of The Mortal Instruments. I'm a massive fan of Cassandra Clare, so I'm really hoping that I will love this one. The next one I got is The Shadow's Curse by Amy McCulloch. This is the second book in her duology. Um, I have the first one, um, The Oathbreaker's Shadow, and I got that one signed at Yalk last year, but I didn't have the second one. And Amy is going to be there again um, this year, so I decided that I would buy the second book and then I'll have both of them signed. The next one I got is The Potion Diaries by Amy Alward. Amy Alward is Amy McCulloch. She's published this one just under a different surname. This sounds so fun and fab and cool and I'm really really looking forward to reading it. I'm actually hoping that I'm going to get it read before I meet her at Yalk because I haven't actually read The Oathbreaker's Shadow and I would like to have read at least one of her books before I meet her again. The next book I got is Angel Fever by L.A. Weatherly. This is the third book in her Angel trilogy. I love this series. I read the first two as arcs when they came out and I don't know why I just never ended up picking up the third one because after I finished the second one I was like oh my god I can't wait to see how it's going to end and I never ended up getting it. Um, I have just finished reading this this morning and it was so good. I'm so sad it's over but oh, this is a series that you just have to pick up. It's just phenomenal. And the last book that I got this month was... The Orphan Queen by Geordie Meadows. This is a young adult fantasy. I absolutely adore fantasy books and I have never ever read anything by Geordie Meadows. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward to this one. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. So I'm really looking forward um, to getting stuck into my first Geordie Meadows book. So that's all I got in June. Um, if Watch for my wrap up video for June for the books that I read and what I thought about them. Otherwise, I will see you next month with what books I got in July. Thanks for watching.